We were asked to subtract the given radical expressions. In order to add or subtract radical expressions, we must have like radicals. Like radicals are radicals in which the radical part is exactly the same, meaning the index is the same, and so is the radicand. However, before we identify like radicals, we must make sure all the radicals are simplified completely. For number one, we have nine square root six minus seven square root six. Notice the square root of six is already simplified, and because both radical expressions contain the square root of six, we do have two like radicals and can perform this subtraction. Or more formally, these are like radicals because in both radical expressions, the index is two and the radicand is six. We add or subtract like radicals just like we add or subtract like terms. As an example, Let's consider nine x minus seven x. Notice how these are like terms because the variable part is exactly the same. Nine x minus seven x equals two x. To subtract like terms, we subtract the coefficients and the variable part remains exactly the same. Applying this idea to subtracting like radicals, we treat the radical as if it was a variable. Nine square root six minus seven square root six equals two square root six. Nine minus seven is equal to two, and the factor of square root six remains exactly the same. Looking at our second example, we have eight times the cube root of four y minus two times the cube root of y minus the cube root of four y. Notice all the radicals are simplified because none of the radicands contain any perfect cube factors. Looking very closely at the radical factor of each term, notice how the first radical and the third radical are the only like radicals because for these two radicals, the indexes are the same and so are the radicands. Notice how the second radical it's not a like radical with the other two because here the radicand is y, not four y. So we can subtract the first and third radicals, but not the second radical. We perform this subtraction, just like we perform this subtraction for the expression, let's say eight x minus two y minus x. Notice how only the first and third terms are like terms. Performing the subtraction, 8x minus x or 8x minus 1x is equal to 7x, and therefore this is equal to 7x, and we still have minus 2y. So again, applying the same idea to this radical expression, eight times the cube root of four y minus one times the cube root of four y is equal to seven times the cube root of four y, and we still have minus two times the cube root of y. I hope you found this helpful.